can be a little terrifying, especially if you have a child who does not like haircuts whatsoever. Um, that that can be terrifying. But if you have patience with your children and you just go in understanding that they don't like this, um, but we're going to get it done no matter how long it takes, uh, just having that mindset really helps you um, accomplish the haircut. I think the biggest thing is having patience. Um, you need to understand that uh, your child may not want to get their hair cut. They may not want you to cut their hair. Um, so just having patience with them is going to help the haircut be more successful. Um, if a parent is wanting to do just a scissor cut, just a little trim, you know, in the back around the edges, then I recommend going online and, um, you know, searching out some good hair cutting shears um, that you can use. That way you have a more even cut. Um, also, if you're wanting to just clean up the edges, um, like around the ears, on the back of the neck for your boys, I recommend also going in with scissors. Um, so you just wanna comb the hair straight down and whatever hair you don't wanna, that you wanna take off, just cut it right there. Um, just make sure you're moving the ear out of the way to prevent um, you know, any accidents from happening. Uh, also, uh, if a parent wants to, you know, get a little fun and go in with some clippers, um, I definitely recommend getting, uh, you know, just a good pair, a reliable pair, one that maybe um, isn't so loud if your child doesn't like the sound of them. Uh, and you can always go online and research that as well. Uh, I have my clippers here just so parents can see the difference between the tools that we use. So the clipper is going to be the bigger um, machine. And that's gonna cut around all this area. If you choose to do the clippers on top as well, if you're just going for you know, a quick buzz cut, you would use those on the top as well. Um, don't forget to put a clipper guard on that because if you just go in without one, then you are going to bald your child. So I always recommend making sure you have your clipper guards with you. They come in all different sizes. Um, the most common ones used is gonna be for children is gonna be a number two, a number three, or a number four. Um, and if you get the clipper guards, you'll see on there that they have the size that it will cut down to. Um, now, if you're wanting to clean up around the edges in the back with um, some trimmers, that's gonna be this tool right here. So they're gonna be the littler ones, and those are gonna be specifically for cleaning up the edges. Um, now, when you're working with trimmers, you wanna make sure that you are pulling the ear away from the head when you're going around the edges because that will help prevent um, possibly nicking the ear. Uh, and then you also want to make sure that the sideburns are even. So when you're going in with the trimmers, just, you know, just make sure they're even so that they're lined up properly. And also, I think one of the biggest things when working with trimmers is making sure that the moving blade is away from your child's skin because that blade will catch them and it will make them bleed. So um, just as long as you're taking these precautions, uh, you, can, you can be successful with the trimmer. Just make sure you're maintaining your child's hair. So washing it one to three times a week, really massaging the scalp to get any buildup, sweat, grime, all of that off of their scalp to help, you know, with um, the health of their scalp. So. You can use a leave-in conditioner to help um, keep the actual hair healthy and um, nourished and moisturized. Um, and then for girls, a big tip that I always give to my clients as well as their parents is making sure that you're brushing your hair twice a day. So I know that sounds kind of silly, but it's gonna help maintain your, your daughter's hair. It's gonna keep all the knots out. It's gonna keep it from breaking um, and damaging the hair so that way you don't have to cut it short from all the tangle damage. Now we all know little girls out there need their bangs trimmed to keep it up out of the eyes. Um, so just a quick little tip, um, make sure you start longer when you're going in. You don't wanna just grab the hair and just snip it right here because then the bangs will probably bounce up a little higher. So what I recommend doing is maybe starting around the bridge of the nose and then working your way up to the length 
that you prefer. And this is just gonna help make sure that, um, like I said, you don't go too short. Um, and then as well, when you're pulling the hair down to trim across, make sure you release the tension a little bit, um, just to give some room for the hair to bounce back up into its natural growth. We are a salon that specializes in children with special needs, so one of the biggest things I think that helps our, um, our clients is introducing everything you're going to be using before you actually use it. So um, show them the clippers, turn them on, let them hear it, let them feel the vibrations. Um, you can put it on their hand, you can put it on their arm, you can put it on their leg, just wherever they feel comfortable with you putting it to their body. Um, and that's going to help them understand more what's going on and that the clippers aren't scary. They are there to help them get those little hairs that bother them out of the way. I definitely want to say don't force it. If they're really just not ready for it, just hold off, even if it's only for an hour or, you know, the next day, um, because you don't want to put them in a situation where they don't want to get their hair cut again. Uh, especially if you've already worked so hard to get them to that point where they will actually go into the salon. 